Good afternoon, boys and girls. I missed you guys. Um, I missed you guys teaching. These are hard times going online, teaching through videos. Um, hope everybody is doing fine. This is Mr. Peña, Master Math Teacher Tools from Santa Maria ISD here from the Rio Grande Valley. The TIG we're going to be covering is TIG 3.7D and it talks about determining the appropriate ways to use measurement of liquid volume, capacity, and weight in ounces. But this is just a reference to weight in ounces and fluid ounces because ounces and ounces, students get these mixed up. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're going to get started with, um, in the customary unit of measurement, we have um, what is called cups, we have pints, we have quarts, we have gallons. Okay, we also have half gallons in there. Um, first, I would like to start out with uh, stating what is fluid ounces and what are ounces. Fluid ounces measures liquid, like it says fluid. Any fluid could be orange juice, milk, water, you know, Kool-Aid, chocolate milk, any liquid, okay? And then also the other one is ounces. Ounces measures weight. We have ounces that is very light and um, we have pounds, which are a lot heavier than ounces. But we're not talking about measurement but I wanted I mean weight but I wanted to bring that to light because a lot of students get fluid ounces and ounces mixed up yes boys and girls we have fluid ounces we we have teaspoons we have uh, cups or a cup which is eight fluid ounces we have a pint of ice cream which is 16 fluid ounces right there it says juice a quart of juice which is 32 fluid ounces we have a half gallon which is 64 fluid ounces, and um, a milk gallon, which is 128 fluid ounces. You can see by this, it's going from least to greatest. Again, this is the customary unit of measurement, a liquid measurement. Now I'm going to show you some real life um, containers that are used to, uh, to show the measurement of liquid volume. A medicine cup and those are fluid ounces a teaspoon measures one fluid ounce we have here a cup a cup measures eight fluid ounces we have here a pint which is 16 fluid ounces that would be the vinegar bottle we have an alcohol bottle which measures 32 fluid ounces that's a quart we have a half gallon that measures 64 fluid ounces and we have a gallon of water here and that one measures 28 fluid ounces you can see here it goes from from the smallest to the greatest the smallest being the fluid ounces and the greatest being 128 fluid ounces from one fluid ounce all the way to 128 fluid ounces as you can tell boys and girls it would take 120 teaspoons to fill one gallon. Okay, boys and girls, we have here a chart and we also have a, it's like a puzzle and it's called kitchen measurements. And here you can tell that two cups right here equals one, one pint. And you can tell here that four pints would equal I mean, two pints, I'm sorry, equals one quart. So four quarts equals a gallon. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pints equals a gallon. And we have here four, four, which is eight, four more, which is 12, and four more, which is 16. 16 cups will equal a whole gallon. Here you have this chart in your packet. One cup equals eight fluid ounces. We have one pint, which equals two cups, and each cup is eight ounces. So if you add eight and eight, it gives you 16 fluid ounces. <clears throat> then we have one quart, which is two pints. Each 
pint is 16 fluid ounces, so 16 plus 16 gives you 32 fluid ounces. Here, one gallon equals four quarts, which equals to eight pints, equals 16 cups, and it equals to 128 fluid ounces. Okay, boys and girls, that was the customary unit of measurement. Now I'm going to show you the metric units of measurement. We have a milliliter, which is like an eyedropper with a drop of liquid there. Here we have one a one liter bottle of Coke, a two liter bottle of Coke, and a three liter bottle of Coke. Then here I'm going to show you examples of milliliters. I have an eyedropper here, which is in milliliters, ML, that's how it's abbreviated, small L, capital, a small M, capital L, excuse me. We also have a long water bottle here, and this one is um, measured in liters. This is one a one liter bottle. I also wanted to show you the conversion that 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. For the star, they have a mathematical reference sheet or conversion chart here, and it talks about customary you can see right there and that's the conversion chart and we also have the metric unit and it shows you that one liter equals 1000 milliliters the link to this mathematical chart will be posted at the bottom this is used um, from TEA yes boys and girls so we've got a packet from TGE 21 size elementary and its capacity for A at the top, page one. This is uh, letter A. Here, problem A has got A, a barrel, um, liquid soap. We have a bowl of soup, and we have a bucket of water or a pail of water. Which one is closer to be measured by ounces? It would be B. This one's too big. It's a little bit bigger, and this is way too big, so it would be this one in ounces. Which of the following would best be measured using quartz? A swimming pool, a gallon of milk, um, nail polish, or a pot of cooking, a cooking pot? It would be, and we want to measure by quartz, it would be the cooking pot. Letter C. Which of the following would be best measured using gallons? I'll abbreviate it here, gal. They want it, which will be measured in gallons. We have um, a blender. Here we have a blender. We have a bottle of water. We have a tub. And we have a crock pot. It would be the tub to be measured in gallons. Letter D. Which of the following would best me be measured using pints? We have a thermos. We have a bottle of perfume, women's perfume. We have a cup of coffee, and we also have a, another pot, cooking pot. The one they're looking for is pints. The best measurement would be this one right here, the thermos. Yes, boys and girls, we're continuing with capacity. Um, on the top, it says 4A, page 2, from the packet, given at school. Here we have letter E. Mr. Ani uses the small, the same amount of water to fill his coffee pot every morning. Which unit of measurement should Mr. Ani use to measure the amount of water in his coffee pot? We have fluid ounces, yards, gallons, and milliliters. This one is way too small. Gallons is too big. Yards is length. This one's called an MRA, most ridiculous answer. And the best answer for his coffee pot would be fluid ounces. During breakfast, Sal ate a bowl of cereal with whole milk, which shows the best unit of measurement, the amount of milk in his cereal bowl. Will it be gallons? That would be too big. Fluid ounces? Probably too small. Cups? Yes. And quarts? Too big. So the best answer here, this would be too small. The best answer here would be H. Letter G, or problem G. Virginia bought a jumbo drink 
from a convenience store. Which is the best estimate for the capacity of the cup Virginia used to serve her soft drink? Would it be A, 40 cups? No, that would be too big. 40 milliliters? No, that would be too small. 10 pints? No, that would be too big. And then one liter? Yes. It would be like one liter of water also. Okay, the next one, boys and girls, would be capacity 4B, page one from the packet. I'm going to read one through six to you because these you're supposed to do by yourself. Okay, number one, which of the following would best be measured using liters? Would it be the watering can? Would it be a, a juice pouch? Would it be a soft drink cup? Or would it be a shampoo bottle? Okay, number two, which of the following would best be measured using milliliters? Would it be a dog dish? F, would it be G, the water cooler? H, a bottle of glue? Or J, a fish number tank? Number three, which of the following would best be measured using gallons? Would it be a vase, a fish bowl, a swimming pool, or a coffee pot? Number four, Lynn filled the kitchen sink with warm water to bathe her puppy. Which is the best estimate of the capacity of the kitchen sink she filled? Would it be F, four pints, G, four fluid ounces, H, four cups, or J, four gallons? Number five. This would be from capacity 4B, page two from the packet. Number five. Nick drinks a small glass of cranberry juice before bed each evening. Which unit of measurement should Nick use to measure the amount of juice in her glass? Will it be A, pint, B, quart, C, fluid ounces, or D, gallon? Yes, the next one is number six. Ebony bought a small fish bowl for his goldfish. He wants to know the capacity of the fish bowl. Which unit of measurement should Ebony use? Will it be F, milliliters? Will it be G, fluid ounces? Will it be H, pint? or J gallon.